Hey guys, it's Katie back here with another OnlyFans video. Today I am currently waiting in my car for my doctor's appointment. So I figured that I'd come on here and then I do a video um, quickly just about what's on my mind or the topic of the day. So without further ado, let's get started. Today's topic is how I promote quickly and effectively when i say quickly i'm talking eight tiktoks in eight minutes that is how effective and how strong i've grown in my marketing so here's the key when you go and you find certain tiktoks you find certain trends and you have a tiktok go viral let's say you have a tiktok that gets a hundred thousand views and you used a certain sound or you used a certain topic or certain, um, oh, what's it called? Not title, but caption within the TikTok. All you have to do is once that goes viral, you're just gonna recreate that exact same TikTok until it doesn't work anymore. A lot of people get, or a lot of creators get, um, I would say like, maybe discouraged or too worried about their reputation on TikTok, like if they recreate certain content so many times that their followers will get tired of it. Um, but what I feel like creators don't take in mind is the whole purpose of TikTok is to drive people to your OnlyFans. So you're not trying to build a reputation on TikTok. You can have a brand on Instagram um, and connect with people, but TikTok is solely to get yourself views and convert those people into subscribers or to at least follow your Instagram, which is where you are more personal. So don't be afraid to do trends over and over again. Um, I have a couple like voiceovers that I do in specific that always go viral. Um, minimum usually at least get maybe 10,000 views. Maximum I've had one hit a million views. Um, but the secret is, is when you find something that goes viral on TikTok, it goes viral for you, chances are it'll go viral again, whether that's the next time you recreate it or the time after that. So I encourage you to not worry about like your setup on your TikTok profile. Go ahead and if you have a TikTok that has went viral, recreate that exact TikTok the same trend, same sound, do the same thing. Do not repost it, but re-record it. I can get literally a six, seven, eight second video TikTok done um, and posted in less than a minute because I've already done my research. I know what um, TikToks for me go viral and so I just recreate them. So I would say that my eight TikToks in the morning and my eight TikToks at night take no more than 10 to 20 minutes to create. Um, a lot of creators come to me and say, oh my God, how many do you, like, how do you create so many TikToks? But that is the key right there that you want to be productive and you want to be smart about um, your reproduction and repurposing of your TikToks. Um, and the same thing goes with Instagram. So if a TikTok has worked and gone viral, you're gonna take that TikTok and then you're gonna remove the watermark and then post it on Instagram. Every once in a while, I'll go down, like if I have, I have a couple of reels that have hit like a million views, I'll scroll down if my account is like a little low on views and then I'll just repost that exact same reel and chances are that it pops off and it goes viral again and my account is back in the circulation of becoming viral and getting more views. Um, Twitter, Twitter is very simple. I literally just post one or two photos a day. Don't think about it too much. Just like screenshot one of your OnlyFans photos, um, put emojis over the sensitive like parts, your boobs and stuff, um, and then post it on TikTok and, or TikTok, post it on Twitter. And that is how I promote on Twitter. I'm so tired right now. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I got my coffee and I'm half asleep still. This doctor's appointment is to like measure my, I got blood work done and like my iron is supposed to be like, um, what is it like between 40, I forget what the measurements were, between 40 and 
20 and my iron is 31. So like my iron is so low. So that's why I'm always so tired. But we're gonna go to the doctors for the first time today, the women's center and get more in depth. But that's a side note. So that is how I personally and effectively do TikToks very, very fast. Um, I used to do 70 plus TikToks a day. That would take me no more than an hour. It probably wouldn't take me as long um, nowadays that I've, you know, researched. I know the trends that work. I know the sounds that work for me. But all I do is post 16 TikToks a day, eight in the morning and then eight at night. And that seems to do the trick. Um, I found that quality over quantity. So, but once you find those viral TikToks and you're able to recreate them, um, the quality of them still remains well because they went viral once, so they'll probably go viral again. So you don't have to go and every time you're on TikTok, spend 10, 15 minutes per TikTok account, looking on the For You page, trying to find something to recreate. And then once you find it, it takes another 10, 15 minutes to perfect and create. Um, people like and love natural, TikToks like don't stress about making it perfect and don't stress about finding the next best thing just do your things yeah do your thing to get the views because that is what you're trying to do it doesn't matter if you have like eight out of ten videos on your TikTok is the same exact video or same exact trend and same exact sound as long as that's getting you views and driving you people to your Instagram and to your OnlyFans that is your goal because your Instagram is where you're gonna burn, burn, is where you're gonna build your personal brand. So that is the number one, I'd say marketing like quickly um, tactic that I use, especially when it comes to TikTok. And then obviously when you do your TikToks, it's pretty much repurposed over to Reels on Instagram. And then Twitter is pretty self-explanatory. Like I said, just posting two pictures, one or two pictures a day with emojis over your parts. Um, I also do Clapper. So Clapper is a lot like TikTok. Um, any TikTok of mine that goes viral, I take the TikTok and then I remove the watermark and I just post it to Clapper. And chances are, if it went viral on TikTok, it goes viral on Clapper. Not as viral because there's not as many users on Clapper, but it still gets a decent amount of views. And I do get some subscribers from Clapper if you are interested in trying that app. So below, I will link the guide that got me to the top 0.1% in my referral link. If you could use that, if you haven't signed up for OnlyFans yet, I would highly appreciate it. It does not take from you. It only takes from OnlyFans. So I hope y'all are having a great Friday. It is almost the weekend. I'm gonna get going to my doctor's appointment and find out what's wrong with me. <laughs> so I will talk to y'all later and I hope you have a great, fantastic weekend if I'm not on here prior to Monday. So have a great one. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye guys.